In this video we're going to look at how to create a weighted index number. So here we have some data showing the changing prices of four dairy items. And what we want to do is to create a single index number, weighted index number, which shows the average price increase in these four items. So in order to do that, we first of all have to find the index numbers for each item individually, showing the percentage increase in the price. And then we're going to combine them using weights into a single overall weighted index number. So here we can see the data. We've got four items, milk, butter, eggs and yogurt. Here are the prices in 2015, 2016 and 2017. Now we need to choose the base, so let's use 2015 as the base. So we're going to calculate indexes for 2016 and for 2017 with 2015 equaling 100, equaling the base year. So the first thing I need to do is to calculate the individual price ind index numbers, price relatives as they're sometimes called, for the four separate items. Firstly for 2016. Now to do that of course I need to simply divide the 2016 figure by the base figure 2015 and times by 100. So I'll do that first here for milk. Okay, so that will work out the index number for 2016 using 2015 as our base value. So let's put that down to the usual one decimal place. Okay, so between 2015 and 2016, the price of milk per litre went up 7.1%. Now if I copy down, I can do the others. Notice, of course, because the formula was set up relative, with relative um, references here, then when you copy it, it will adjust it accordingly. So the next one, of course, for butter should be D3 divided by C3. And if we have a look... That's what it is, of course. It's adjusted the references relative to the position until it works it out correctly. Now, if we look at the average of these, so if I highlight them all, just look down here on the status bar, we see the average 105.2. So the average increase in these four items in the price was 5.2%. But that, of course, is not how I'm going to work out the overall index, because that's not taking account of the differing importance of each item in the overall expenditure pattern. What we want to do with a weighted index is to take into account the relative importance of these items so that we have an overall average index, average increase, which is more reflective. So here we can see the weights. So what we're assuming here is that of the total spending by this these households on dairy items, 40% of their spending was on milk, 20% on butter, 25% on eggs, and the other 15% on yogurt. So clearly a rise in the price of, say, milk should count more in our overall index than an increase in the price of yogurt, because more money is spent on milk than on yogurt. That's the idea of a weighted index. Now to calculate this, it's very straightforward. We simply need to multiply these individual indices by the corresponding weight. And then the index is equal to the sum of those values divided by the sum of the weights. So let me do the first one here. So it's going to be the weight here for milk multiplied by this index for milk. That again, I'll put this to one decimal place. Now I can drag down to do the rest again because the formula is relative. If it's relative cell references, it will automatically do the rest correctly. Let's just check one of them to see that one, of course, should be B5 times B12, which is what it is. Okay, all I need to do now is to sum up these items these weights times the indices. So I'll use the auto sum function to put the sum function in quickly. 
there's the total put that into into red and the index is simply this divided by the sum of the indices that uh, sum of the weights rather which in this case is simply 100 of course because we use percentages and there is my index so that's the weighted index increase that shows the average increase in the price of these four dairy items but the increases have been weighted according to the relative proportions of total expenditure which goes on each item notice we get 105.4 if you remember the unweighted index which is simply average of these in 5.2 so we're going to slightly it's not very much different here but slightly higher let's repeat this calculation now for 2017 so again it's the same thing multiply the weight by the index and then divide the sum of those weight times the index indices by the sum of the weights so first of all I need to do the individual ones for each item so I'm going to divide the 2017 price by the base price which is 2015 of course times by 100 that's the first one I can simply fill down now to do the rest now let's multiply by the corresponding weights there's the weight for milk times this index for milk fill down to do the rest okay now we simply need to sum those And then my weighted index for 2017 is simply equal to that sum divided by the sum of the weights and there we have it 110.3 so we're saying that on average the prices of these four dairy items increase from 2015 to 2017 by just over 10 percent 10.3 percent but that's a weighted increase again if i compare that with the unweighted one simply averaging these four increases here let's look at the average 109.5 so there's a noticeable difference here this time 9.5 percent increase unweighted 10.3 percent increase weighted and the reason for this being higher of course is that we've given more weight in the overall calculation to milk because that's 40 percent and that went up more than the other ones so the fact that we gave a greater weight to the price that increased the most is what's making the overall weighted index here higher than the unweighted one okay so that shows you how to you can simply create a weighted index number by combining the index numbers for individual items using weights.